out of Chesterfield, even as COVID cases continue to rise in Virginia, we're learning tonight some students could be returning to the classroom in less than a month. Our Tracy Sears joins us now live with that story tonight. Tracy. Yeah, Bill, the superintendent says he feels a little more confident sending students back to in-person learning because he said studies have shown the mitigation strategies are working and helping stop the spread of the virus and also because of studies that show that schools aren't super spreaders. In a letter to parents, he also pointed out that educators are next in line to receive the COVID-19 vaccine and should be vaccinated by February. The Chesterfield County School Board will vote tomorrow on a proposal that would send elementary students back to school for in-person learning five days a week beginning February 1st, the first day of the new marking period. The proposal would return middle and high school students to five days a week of secretous virtual learning, with plans to return those students to in-person learning at some point during the third marking period or at the beginning of the fourth marking period. However, middle and high school students taking career and technical classes would be eligible to return to in-person learning on February 1st. Chesterfield County Schools says it's been deliberate about its return to in-person learning, focusing on the health of the county's 60,000 students and nearly 7,500 staff members. Parents and teachers say they have mixed reaction tonight. Socially, mentally, they need to be in school and with their peers and in front of their teachers. You know, that connection that you have face to face with someone and not behind a screen um, is taking its toll almost a year later. These educators are not worried about catching our students up. They're worried about bringing COVID to their homes. The county says 10 months into the pandemic, they believe safety recommendations have been vetted and proven when it comes to in-person learning. The county also says it's concerned about the continued risk of missed class time and social isolation for students. Now the school board is expected to vote on this proposal tomorrow night at its regularly scheduled meeting at four o'clock. Parents who want to change the learning status of their students must also do so by, we're told, 4 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, January 19th, because all decisions will be binding for the semester. Reporting live in Chesterfield, Tracy Sears, now back to you.